Should we talk yes. about Raw? Yeah, just be careful out there. Don't be a Moby Dick. You Let's me? talk about Raw. Did you watch this show, Mike? I did. Yeah, what'd you think about it? You know, I didn't think it was too bad of a show, to be honest with yeah, you. Yeah, there was a lot of wrestling. There was, and that actually made me happy. And there was actually a nice main event, even though I knew Liv Morgan was not going to get the victory. It was a nice, good performance for her. I thought it was a nice way to close the show. And even though Becky kind of kind of weaseled her way into getting the victory there, I thought it was a nice performance by Liv. You okay yeah, over there, too. Oreo? Yeah, good. I, had a, I had a little technical issue. I think it's fixed now. <laughs> I think we might have uh, been peeking the microphone there for a little bit. <laughs> you got to be careful about well, that. Well, you know, I'm, I'm new at this job. Brian's the one that usually does all the technical stuff, but with him gone, uh, I was in charge. Does that sound better, everybody? Let me check yeah, here. a little bit, yes. Yeah. Okay, let's do Raw. Because we got to do the Raw report, I've been told, every week. People seem to like it. I'm going to try to remember this uh, off the top of my head here. Uh, what did it start with, Mike? Help me out here. Well, it started actually with a set of monologues from the three oh, people that would be involved in the cage match coming up to start the show. Yes, yes, yes. We had uh, Seth Rollins and Big E and that other guy, Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens. Yeah, don't make me say it. All three of them did uh, interviews because they're going to be having a match at the uh, day one a pay-per-view. Have you heard about this day one pay-per-view, Mike? I have. It's going to be a Peacock yeah. special on uh, January 1st, I believe, right? Yeah, these day geniuses one. came up with the idea of day one, oh. not realizing that in two years, there's going to be five straight years where day one is not, in fact, on a weekend. Yeah, but look I there bet they in the didn't era. think about that one, did they? Maybe, maybe not. No, it depends of on course who, they didn't, Mike. Depends on who pitched this to Vince. You never know. This could be a, a Tony Khan idea where he went to Peacock and said, look, everybody else is watching football. They're watching the Winter Classic. You got a bunch of hungover people on the first. It's a national holiday yeah, no matter where you go. Yeah, about an hour. Well, it's, it's a national holiday no matter when it takes place, no matter what day is on. So if you wanted to build a show on the first, you could do that if you wanted to. But how long will Vince have interest in it? That might be an issue. Turn my sound up. It's, it's, it's peaking here. All right, we had uh, Big E versus Kevin Owens in a steel cage match. I bet somebody because, tuning know, in is peaking you know right WWE, now. WWE, Mike, we got to have four cage matches in four days in WWE. Or maybe it's three. I'm an orca. I don't count very well. But uh, Big E beat Kevin Owens in the cage match. I, uh, as a whale, thought it was a very good match. And uh, there was a big ending off the top, and then uh, Big E pinned him. That was good. Yeah, it was. Uh, yeah. But then As Seth a whale, attacked I him afterwards. I have a slight delay here, so, uh, you know, if I talk over you, I, I apologize. Fair enough. I I'm also used to apologize it. if I eat you. <laughs> Queen Zelina faced Nikki Ash. She beat her in two minutes because this Nikki Ash is a loser. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I do indeed. <laughs> All right. Uh, then we had uh, uh, Jerry Lawler belittling the loser. Because why not? The Street Profits faced uh, AJ Styles and Omos. It's a uh, tournament. Uh, I think they called it a bronament. I don't know what the hell that is. But they had one. And uh, in the first match, the Street Profits won. Because uh, this big dummy Omos left the ring. And uh, the, the skinny guy was counting. And uh, Omos is apparently, he does not have in-ear monitors like I do. He didn't hear it, and he was counted out of the ring like an idiot. So, Oreo, it is, it is a fact that Omos is not your brother? No, he's not my brother. I'm a whale. He's clearly a man. Aye. Very tall man, but a man nonetheless. Uh, we had some other stuff. Uh, Damian Priest beat Robert Rue. That was a good match. Uh, they went uh, 10 minutes. I enjoyed that match. Did you know that there was an hour and 15 minutes of wrestling on this show? Uh, coming on the heels of SmackDown on Friday, that had 16 minutes on the entire show. You know, I can we understand. Went from 8 minutes an hour to 25 minutes an hour, according to my whale math. I can understand you wanting to keep count of this. I know time is very important when you're floating around in the ocean. Uh, damn straight. Bianca Belair beat Do Drop. Hey, have you ever heard of Dave Meltzer? Heard of you know him. You know that guy? Yeah. Also paid by Tony Khan. Uh-huh. Yeah. He didn't think this match was very good. Oh. I thought it was really good. 
It only gave but it six I, what, stars. What am on. I? I'm just a whale. Yeah. Yeah, Bianca uh, won via count out. That I can acknowledge was lame. Do you have a blowhole rating system? Like, if you're really excited about a match, it gives you yeah, six squirts. This match was was uh, two and three quarter holes. If you must know, uh, this Miz, Miz and uh, uh, Edge's father had a, a face off, and they're going to apparently have a match on day one. Dominic and Rey Mysterio beat the Alpha Academy. Uh, three minutes, because why would you give Rey Mysterio more than three minutes? And actually, they gave him zero minutes because he never tagged in. Oreo, who is bigger, you? Or Otis? Or Otis. Do you need help here, Mike? No, the I just... The uh... answer is I am much, much larger than Otis. I may not look it right now, <laughs> sure. but I am multiple tons. <laughs> who could take down that more lunch? That little skinny twerp is at best a quarter ton. Otis, Omas, and Oreo. I say a three-way is coming. Uh, we'll see about that. Finn Balor beat uh, T-Bar, which I thought was a building accoutrement, but it's apparently a man. Uh, he was beaten. And then some uh, muscle man beat him up. I don't know his name. I don't follow it closely enough. And uh, finally, the main event, Becky Lynch and Liv Morgan had a match for the, uh, the Raw women's title. So I was watching this show, and they had a bunch of videos for this Liv Morgan about how, oh, my whole life I've been a wrestling fan. Oh, I'm going to win my first title ever. There's children cheering and going, oh, ho, ho. Hey, you'll never guess what happened, Mike. What happened? She got her ass kicked, and she got beaten. Well, that's true. Yeah. And then the social media posted a picture of Becky and said, oh, you mad? Oh, yeah, they're no. trolling the fans. <laughs> what a horrible company. Look, look, at least Thank Liv looked good. Thank God this is good. my job. Thank God my job is swimming and eating. <laughs> is that not a great job? Actually, that's the best job in the world. That's why I've been trying no, to work actually myself a horrible towards. Job, Mike, because there's not enough salmon. That's oh, yeah. why Whale Scout is uh, doing habitat restoration to make sure that there are enough salmon for me to eat. Otherwise, you know what's going to happen, Mike? I'm going to go extinct. Oh no! Just like World Championship Wrestling. Oh! So donate today to Whale Scout. You can go to Brian's Twitter at Brian Alvarez. There's a link there, and you can uh, donate. That sound cool? That sounds incredible. Are all the sweatshirts sold out? I'm wearing one right now. Can't you tell. You don't see it? No. And I'm very fat. You must have ate Robert, the person that was yet. wearing it's it. It's really hot in this room. How hot is it? Ah, there we go. Back in a moment, everybody. Wrestling Observer Live! Hey! I always talk about this guy's speed. And not only was he running fast, I don't know if you guys know anything about physics. Oh, educate us. But when one guy is going really fast one direction... And it's a stationary man. That's bad. When one guy's running one direction and the other guy's running at him and they they clunk into each other, that's more bad. If Darby Allen leaves the tunnel at 2 p.m. at 30 miles an hour. He left the tunnel at 2 p.m. and he hit this guy at 159. <laughs> he actually went backwards in time. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.